welcome to the vlog. My name is Kyle Holly. This is most my what my up? boy. Um, he's usually man behind the camera, as you know. Uh, my name is Kyle Holly, by the way. If you're not subscribed already, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're headed to Sam's Club right now. Um, actually, we're gonna show you us going to Lowe's first. We're going to Lowe's, so let's just act like we're going to Lowe's right now. Uh, we're getting some paint for the office we're gonna paint it gray um, so well we're not painting the whole office gray we're painting like just the office section with our tables and stuff gray so that'll be sweet guys we're going to sam's club right now as we speak um i'm gonna actually meal prep this week guys so i'm gonna be getting chicken like raw chicken i'm gonna cook up i'm gonna get rice and then i'm getting broccoli um along with hummus um I'm gonna like mix the chicken and rice with hummus. Oh, it's amazing. Hopefully they have good hummus here. I usually go to Shiraz, shout out Shiraz. Hopefully, uh, it'd be nice if I get a sponsorship there. That'd be awesome. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna cook up. I haven't done this in a long time. I've not mealed prep in a long time, but it's time for me time. to do so. So let's get to it. Yo, what is up guys? We're here at Lowe's right now, about to uh, pick out paint for, for the office part. So we're looking at like a gray. Like, I'm thinking like this color right here, for real. Yeah. Porcelain shale. I don't see like that. You like that? That's pretty, that's pretty light. Cause you gotta remember, it's gonna be sitting next to a white. Oh yeah. So we want That's somewhat of a contrast. So let's look at a white real quick. So like that contrasts pretty well. Yeah. I mean, this is green. And we could get into the green. Bleed cast. Porcelain, porcelain shale. That's really good. Which one? Porcelain or lead cast? I don't see a difference. <laughs> and there's a very slight difference, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go with the first one we've chosen, baby. We walked right into it. We walked right into okay. it, boys. Alrighty, folks, we got it. This should be enough. He said, uh, you know, one gallon's good for like 400 or square feet. And yeah. like, so that's plenty for like the little section we're doing. Where do we park again? <laughs> Over here. Wait, where do we park? Right, mine is Highland. Yo guys, so I used to go to this little school called CEC. It's like a private school. It's like right across the street. I just went there in 6th and 7th grade. And we used to come here for lunch. I'd get like a pepperoni uh, combo for $264. And uh, I came up here, dude. And I haven't been here in a while to eat the food. And it was the same lady. So the same lady has been here for like 10 years, bro. I could not imagine that. But... I thought that was pretty and then funny. I went here too. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then like he mostly went to CC as well, and she's working there and then like so it was just pretty hilarious. But we're eating this food, and then we're gonna, we're, yeah, we're eating terrible. I mean the pizza combo and a soft pretzel, and then we're going to buy all the healthy food. So I had to do a little splurge before we uh, splurge on healthy food. Yo guys. We were just passing through. You know how I said I got the Samsung for cheaper than even on Facebook? They raised the price. I got a couple weeks ago for $179. Let's go. But uh, we're going to go look at this money counter too real quick. Um, we need a money counter. It's just a necessity in this business. So here it is right over here. Oh, boys. This is a lot of chicken. I don't even know how much I need. That's the thing. But this is only 10 bucks, so we're going to go with this. This is plenty for the week. Wouldn't you say so? And then we need broccoli, and we need rice and hummus. As I got all of my essentials, if you guys want to copy me, I'm here at Sam's Club. Um, 
We got the royal rice, boys. This rice is from the foothills of the Himalayas. Okay, so we got that. That's an essential. Um, we got this 20, 50 pack of little, you know, container. And then ice. This is also essential. Zero calories, zero sugar. All good stuff. Um, all natural flavors. Then we got this. 10 bucks for freaking big fatty chicken breast. And then instead of broccoli, I'm going with these. Cut them in half. Boom. Put like three in there. A little, little vegetable. And then I, I was going to get like the big thing of uh, hummus, but I, I kind of like this the way this is. I needed 10 for the full week. Comes with 16. It's only 488. So we're going to just stuff one of these inside each container. And it'll keep it fresh. So that's what we're doing, boys. Let's see what the total price comes out to. And then basically I can subtract this and this and, and the rice. Like this is gonna be the rice is gonna be a one-time thing. I'm gonna I'm not gonna have to buy rice for months after after that. Um, and then the chicken breast will probably last me two weeks. We'll see. But once I get done cooking it all, we'll we'll see what's up exactly. So let's see how much this total price was though. Nice. You recording? It was sixty dollars. Um, now you gotta remember that the chicken is probably gonna last me two weeks. We'll see for sure. And then the rice is gonna last me months. The rice is eighteen dollars alone. Um, so really, what you're what you're buying, what you're really spending your money on every every like other week is ten bucks on chicken breasts, which is crazy. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I always eat out every day. So we just got ten bucks for for a huge amount of chicken breasts, and then um, four dollars for hummus, and then. It was like two dollars for the celery, and that's gonna last me again. Like, this should l I'm making two meals a day, so we're gonna cook it up and we'll see what's up. What is up, guys? Okay, so we just got to the office, um, put our ices in the old fridge, we're stocked up on ice, and then we're gonna go to my house right now and cook some food. I might as well just deposit this money because basically you want to let you know you want you want to let your bank know what's up but you don't want to let your bank know really what's up if you know what I'm saying like like not in a bad way or anything it's just like you don't want to give your bank all of your cash okay so I never have all of my money in in my bank because they just don't need it, man. They're making money off of this money. Like they're gonna, they're gonna take this money, and they're gonna go flip a couple things, like circulate this money for around for other people, gain interest off of it, and everything like that. So they are making a decent amount of money off this money. And then sometimes when I go to the bank, they don't even have the cash for me. So that's why I don't like giving all my cash to banks because. You know, sometimes I'll go up and I'll I'll need cash the, the day before I leave because it was just like a last second thing. And they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have 10000 right now or whatever the amount is. So, you know, don't always keep all your cash in the bank -roonies. But this is a new bank that I'm going to. I've gone here recently, but, like, I don't have, like, a relationship with them yet. So I've been bringing money in and out of here. So, so we build that relationship. Um... I usually go to the one that's like open until 7 p.m. by my house, but I'm not gonna do that for now. See you in a little bit, Bob. What's up, guys? <laughs> I made it back. Um, lady was actually just talking to me a little bit about uh, partnering, partnering her, with her to do like financing and whatnot for the dealership. Which, watch out, watch out, watch out. which is um, cool, but I was gonna go with a different bank for that type of stuff. You know, leave every option open on the table. So I got a meeting with a different U.S. bank tomorrow to talk about the business account and everything that uh, I'm eligible for. Ooh. And uh, I guess I got a meeting with her too. Every time I come in, like, shout out to her, she's cool. 
But every time I come in, she's like, hey, you want to do this? You want to do that? You want to do this? And I'm like, well, you know, let's take it easy for now. So, it is what it is, though. I get it. You know what? I hate the freaking Eco Pro on these beamers, guys. I always forget to turn it off. But I come to, like, somewhat of a stop. Here, hold on. Let's see. See, sometimes it just doesn't do it. It's weird, man. The Eco Pro just, like, turns your engine off, turns back on. And, obviously, you can hit that button and it'll turn off. But, for some reason, that button is not... I think it's a fake button on this one, to be completely honest. But if you put it in Sport, it doesn't do that. But, obviously, I don't want to drive in Sport all the time. But, I guess I, I, guess I could. <laughs> This is cooking with Kyle. I don't know why I'm speaking Italian. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get five out from a five days. Just so we're ready to go. Not that we're even close to being. You mean time? Being the time to put this in, but that's okay. This is the easiest thing. This is the only thing I actually know what to how to do, so. We're freestyling all this, boys. This is no plan, I did not look up online, nothing. This is just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so let's hope it turns out good. All right, so we have five there. I'll probably reuse these things. All right, so now we're gonna pull these boys out. Remember guys, make sure you wash your hands after and before you get something out. This is nasty. All right, so we're gonna cut the fat off. You know, this fat I really don't mind. This fat's you want you want a little bit of fat guys, but
much, I can't do this every day, blah, 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 blah. Well, look, I did not measure anything. All right, everybody. Chicken's ready to go. Looks beautiful. We're now going to... See, I'm trying to decide if I want to cut it up now. Uh, I'll probably shred it up now, guys, I guess. We'll do one at a time. And then what we'll do is... I don't know. Should I cut it up now? Or should I just... Nah, I'm not going to cut it now. Yeah. I'm just going to put it in there, and then you can cut it up when you get to actually going. And again, the chicken sizes are not the same every time. Obviously, this one's huge, so this one's going to be my Friday batch because Friday I eat a little bit more than the other days. Alright guys, so to the finishing touch to this is the little classic hummus. This is the major flavor. This is like what really makes the meal. And uh, you know, there's the meal guys. This is what I'll be eating twice a day. You know, maybe add a little bit of peanut butter for the celery. I was going to do broccoli, but I decided, eh. I'm going to stick with something cold because these will obviously be in the fridge and then I'll heat the chicken up in that. And ready to go. Yo, 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 what is up guys? We got uh, the paint, we're back in the office. Uh, we taped off pretty much everything that needs to be taped off for the most part. Um, we got a couple things that are different about it. But um, yeah guys, we're going to pour this paint and start getting to work. I love this color though guys. Check that out. Looks awesome. That's enough for now. Now we can get yours. roll to really make this you know we're really uh, like making this place ourselves now it's a part of us blood sweat tears hard work alright well a little bit more right. here we go boys the first roll oh yeah that looks awesome yeah. I love that color. I put a little too much on. Wow. I really like that, guys. The tough part is the seam. We were talking about this earlier. The seam in there, that's really annoying. So we're going to have to hand brush every single seam. Well, that's all right. So we know to stop at this line. Oh, that's You want to talk? What is up, boys and girls? Check it out. Look around. It's coming together. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like it. Uh, so we're thinking about painting the window frames black, like these window frames as well, the door frames. Just to add a little some 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 something to it. But look at the gray from here. Like once we take off the tape and stuff, it's gonna look pretty dope. Um, we really like it, you know, it was all white. We wanted some kind of manly or something, you know, make it like our own situ situation, our own, you know, style and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out so far, guys. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for much more, guys. We're almost done. Um, you know, we're just working at the little details right now, and then we're gonna have to go over the wall a couple more, well, like, you know, some spots a couple more times, you know, to really get those little creases, because this wood is kind of weird to paint. Because um, there's all these little creases inside it. So, like, you can't just roll over it and paint it. Like, you gotta get in there a little bit. So, definitely. Definitely somewhat of a workout. And then, we still gotta go work out. <laughs> so, it is like 
almost nine right now, I think. And um, then we're gonna go work out. The gym closes at 11.30, so we got some time. And uh, hopefully we can finish this up before then. Holy crap, you painted the sensor? Oh, Johnny, boy, I don't know about that one, eh? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it either. <laughs> well, so just painted the sensor, eh? Oh, it was—it got all over it. I had to, like, scrape it off. Oh, man, oh, man. Well, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Let's get to painting more. What is up, guys? Getting a little closer, getting a little... Yeah, check it out. Just check it out for yourself. Um, definitely a little arm workout, boys. A little forearm workout. Um, I'm debating now on whether or not I want to go to the gym. Um, getting kind of late. I don't know if we're going to have the time or not. And the good thing is this is somewhat of a workout, but, you know, it's not really, like, what I need, but whatever. Alright guys, so we're not like officially done done with, there's definitely some spots we still have to touch up. But we're going to go ahead and take this off. Oh, heck yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is pretty dope. And so our idea behind this, like I said, was like, so we got our pool table here, we got our couch here, our TV, you know, the sound system, the bar. But like back here is where the work gets done, okay? So we just wanted it to be a little bit of a different atmosphere. And so I think that is pretty dope, guys. So um, we're gonna touch up a couple more things, but I did just wanna peel that off and then get like, just like a look, a feel for like what it looks like. It looks pretty sick, I think. So I'm happy with it and um, yeah, so I'm going to touch it a little more. Finally got it, boy. 